Alright, so many of you seem to be a fan of my mini-series where I take influence from other countries and cultures and make a UK drill beat. I've done a ton in the past like Japanese, Chilean, Romani, Egyptian, but one that keeps coming up in comments and suggestions is Indian. I've actually done one before but it was around two years ago so I think it's time to make something fresh. So for this one I want to start by finding an authentic sample to flip then hopefully I can turn it into something crazy. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to find the sample, I've just spent some time looking through Tracklib, who are actually today's sponsor. And if you haven't heard of them, they're a huge online record store for sampling. You've probably seen me using them a few times before, and that's because they have way over 80,000 original samples that you can flip and clear if you want to release the music. I'm going to show you the type of stuff I was looking at. So I just went straight to tracks, and then I went to the year. I brought this down to 1990, just because I want anything up until that date. And then I knew I wanted to flip something Indian, so I went to genres, folk and world, and then I just scrolled down to Indian and clicks that. So let's have a listen to some. I could take some percussion from this. That actually sounds sick. I'm actually going to get rid of the ear just so there's a few more options. Let's try this one as well. Could even test it with some drums. Oh, that sounds kind of hard. Well, we'll see what else there is. See, this is the one I downloaded. I think there could be something sick in this for me to flip. So yeah, it might be kind of tricky, but I'm going to see what I can do. And then to download it, I just clicked this button here and it only cost me one credit. And if you want 15 credits and 30 days completely free, just click the link in the description. It's double the normal amount. Okay, so I've dragged the sample into FL and I'm just going to see what parts I like. Wonder what it sounds like reversed. Oh, like this bit sounds crazy. I think I could make something real dark with this. Okay, so I could just chop it in the playlist, but I'm gonna try something else. So I'm gonna see if Serato Sample can actually find a chop for me. I like this one, let's try it reversed. Yeah, that could be the one actually. I could just repeat that. Could be something like this. And then maybe one more, just a quick one. That could give me the foundation. I might even reverse that small one too. Yeah, this could be called. I'm trying new key too. That might be too low. I kind of like C sharp minor where it was. Okay, I think we try some vocals next. Ooh, like that one. That could be sick. I want to chop that a bit though, so I'm going to get rid of the reverb and delay and then I'm going to render it. I'm going to take this one and make it unique and then we'll reverse it. Maybe have the first one normal and the second one reversed. Oh, you know what? Let's bring that back. I think I just leave one section with the chop like this. I need to process it though. And maybe one at the end. And then just have one normal. So yeah, we'll add some reverb. Might just leave that bit actually. Mm. We'll just EQ that a bit too. Okay, and then for the actual sample, I just need to clear this up a bit too. Just a couple frequencies I want to dot. So like that one too. And then I need to take out the lows. Okay, I want to keep this melody simple, but I definitely want a couple more things in there. And I've just found some sick Indian instruments in this contact bank. So I could use that as a bit of a bass. Oh, that sounds crazy. It even sounds sick up, but we'll filter it out a bit. Just sounds more like a texture now. Oh, this Bansuri sounds sick as well. Could even just add one note again. Just keep this one tense. We'll do the same with this one. We'll render it and then we'll copy one. We'll make it unique and then reverse it. And then just fade it. First, we'll get some reverb on that too. Cause then if I have one section where the vocal isn't playing, gives it some high end. I wonder what some chorus sounds like on the sample as well. 
It's actually kind of hard. All right, I might add something later, but for now, I'm just gonna tie it all together with some RC20, and then I can start with the percussion. Oh, my days, and once again, we've crashed. This is happening in a lot of videos now, man. It's stressing me out. All right, maybe one last thing, just another texture. It's missing some low end too, and obviously I'm gonna fill that in with an 8 weight, but for now, I just want a sub bass. All right, and I wanna get the bounce going, and I think I've got an idea. So in one of the first track loop samples we listened to, there was a lot of percussion. Like this one here. I think I could take some of that percussion. So I've just brought the sample into Edison, and I'm gonna take a few of the individual drums. We'll take that one, this one as well. This one too, take this one. But I just need to clean them up a bit first. Just need to get rid of some noise. Take out some of the unwanted lows. Then we'll just add a compressor too. All right, so let's get some kind of bounce going. So yeah, simple one with this one. I could layer this too. Okay, let's get this one in as well. Ooh, the shape box, that sounds crazy. Maybe I could use that as some kind of texture. That sounds mad. I'm just gonna leave that underneath. And then with EQ, I'm just gonna create this filter. Cause now we got this. And that's just gonna sit underneath the main drums. Okay, let's get some proper drums in now. Let's try that down actually. Okay, we want an interesting sound of snare. Maybe this, or this one. Could try a layer it with this one. Okay, with that percussion loop, I'm just pitching it up an octave and then I'm gonna add half time. Just so it's not clashing too much. I think I like the sound of this no more. Yeah, I'm gonna run with this. Okay, and then I want a second count snare which has a higher pitch. Yeah, just something to make it bounce here. Okay, let's try one of the new 808s. Mm, yeah, that one. And then we'll just glide these up. I don't think there needs to be too many slides in this one. gonna bring the attack up a bit let's try a new one let's try this simple drums too pitch them up though We definitely need some kind of perk hit.
This bundle's actually sounding crazy. This is just one kit of 10. Okay, one more thing is just gonna be a drum fill. This is sounding mad. Only other thing I need is the second eight weight pattern, but I'll do that when I arrange it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split the drums and then we'll copy this out a few times. What I'm thinking is I can have that perk loop in the beginning, but then turn half time off just in this section. Get the sub in there as well, maybe. Get rid of the vocals. See what everything sounds like pitched down at octave two. So yeah, maybe it can start down an octave and then come up in this section with the perk loop. This bit sounds crazy. I think the vocals need to be down an octave though. And then we'll get the signature sounding. Just want to try one thing with the eight weight in that section as well. See what it sounds like just coming down an octave. But we'll bring the velocity of this one down. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, in this section, we'll just bring the flute in. And then yeah, just a quick second eight weight pattern. Just make these short slides. All right, so coming into the verse, we're just gonna cut a few things out. Okay, in the next section, we'll bring the vocals in. We'll take the flute out. Then in this section, I think we could bring the sub back. I'm just gonna keep the verse short. I'm also gonna bring that sample down an octave too. All right, yeah, so in this section, I'm gonna bring the perk loop back, but take the main count snare out. Yeah, this will just keep it interesting. Okay, let's hear it from the beginning. I'll just play it from this section. I think this perk loop sounds so sick. And that was made from the sounds I took from that original sample. So now we're in the hook. Crazy energy here. And a new, new 808 pattern. I didn't need to overdo it with the slides in this. And coming into the verse. This one came out insane. And if you want to watch more from this series, click up here. Or if you want to see me cook up with Heady One's producer, HL8, click up here.